Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. Well, today I found an interesting thing on the internet. So I wanted to share it with you. Uh, I've made several videos of lawnmowers and robot lawnmowers, battery powered tools, robot vacuums, and this one kind of caught my eye. Now, I definitely am not endorsing it because there's a few red flags already that I see and I've been burned on Kickstarter before so don't count this as quite the endorsement. I just wanted to share it. Lana, the smart cyber mower with visual AI. And look at the design they went with. They went with like a cyberpunk cyber truck design and I wanted to just go over this project with you. So far, 266 people have backed it, and they've made $234,000 already. It looks like the goal was only $100,000. They say that it's going to have a two-year warranty and lifetime customer support. We'll see how that goes. 100% best price? What are we comparing that to? Here it is, Lana, the smart cyber mower with visual AI. So, they're saying this one does not need perimeter wire, and we'll talk more on that later, why I'm kind of iffy on this setup. It says it's fully autonomous, and it makes paths. Now, it says it uses visual AI detection. It'll automatically recharge a humidity sensor, Visual surveillance is another crazy thing about this one here. So Lana is a fully automated robot lawnmower. It's capable of setting virtual boundary lines and dividing work areas and arranging optimal work schedules all on its own using visual AI. It doesn't require perimeter wires like the first generation mowers like I have in my backyard. I've had to recently dig up and rebury a new wire because I don't know just phantom wire breaking. Now moving on it says you don't even have to bend down and adjust the cutter height. All the operations can be done via the app right on your phone. With Lana you can free yourself from the hassle of lawn maintenance. So now we're going to move into the part that I'm kind of concerned about. What makes Lana outstanding? Now it says precise AI vision for accurate mapping. Now if you look here at this video, it looks like it's mapping the yard with its vision. Now the original dumb robot lawnmowers, you buried a wire in the yard like an underground dog fence, wireless dog fence, and it stayed in the yard just like a dog would with, the, <laughs> with one of those fences. So let's flip over here to this one. This is a Luba. And I actually bought one of these too. I know, I need to stay off Quick Starter, y'all. Don't do what I do, stay off Quick Starter. But this one has a more traditional boundaryless uh, setup. What that means is there is a GPS on the robot lawnmower and there is another GPS that you will set up somewhere else and it triangulates a really precise location with that reference GPS signal from the remote GPS and the GPS on the lawnmower. So using the RTK reference signal with the GPS that is on the mower you can get centimeter level accuracy in your wire free backyard. This Lana one, I'm just kind of worried because it says it's going to do it all based on AI and vision. Now, I hate to bring Tesla back into this, but we all know when they switched the cars from having radar and vision to just vision, we all know those phantom brakes kind of ticked up. So, you know, vision is great, but it's good to have an extra reference, like that radar sensor in the front of the car. So I'm not 100% confident in Lana's ability to go AI vision only in the yard. Now, it says it's going to do it. We'll just have to wait and see if it actually does or not. 
Now it says it is an advanced system and eliminates a lot of the prep work, but I don't know guys. Intelligent path planning, yeah that's important to go back and forth in lines. Looks like they had a tree here to go around. You can make multiple zones. Now this is all good stuff, I'm just still worried about that it's going to do it all based on AI vision only. Now after this it goes on talking about more basic uh, automated lawnmower functions. It mows more often than you would a regular mower and it just cuts a little bit at a time and it's just tiny little grass clippings and it, and it kind of acts more like a fertilizer it says on your yard and it does make your yard greener. The grass is healthier. I can attest to this. I've had robot lawnmowers for years. So that is true. It says you can adjust the deck from 25 to 80 millimeters and it can climb up a 30 degree slope. And then it says it has a rain sensor. Operating electronic products during rainy weather can result in short circuits or corrosion. We don't want that. So Lana was designed to be fully waterproof. Even the blades can be cleaned directly by water. That's actually pretty good. Um, I, on my Husqvarna auto mower, they tell you not to do that. This is a standard feature of any robot lawnmower, pretty much, uh, to be able to return to the base when it gets below a certain percentage. But not every lawnmower will continue mowing from the point at which it previously left off. So that's a plus. Like my robot in the backyard, it doesn't go in nice straight lines. It just bounces around all over the place, so it doesn't really matter where it left off. But when your mower mows in lines, it kind of does matter where it left off. And then we have a scripted testimonial from somebody here. Why Lana is safe. So here we have a uh, robot looking around at some grass and seeing a table leg here and deciding to go around it. So it says here, it's equipped with multiple sensors. Lana is able to protect itself and avoid external harm. I assume they mean by like bumping into things, so it stops before it bumps into it. The sensor detection range is wide, which helps Lana detect static obstacles in advance to evade collision. In addition, the sensors are fast acting to deal with obstacles that suddenly appear. Uh, that would probably be like a kid playing ball or a dog. It says, Lana is harmless. Oh look here, there's the kid playing ball. Lana is harmless. It includes vision, ultrasonic, and collision detection that work together to intelligently scan and detect the environment in real time and avoid obstacles, people, pets. This is kind of another standard feature on robot lawnmowers, especially higher end ones, anti-theft. So it says they offer an app connection via Bluetooth, 4G, or Wi-Fi, and it uses real time GPS positioning. So this unit does have a GPS in there. This is the first time they mention GPS. They act like everything is AI vision driven and there's no GPS going on, but there is GPS in it. So if it's picked up by an unauthorized person, it will require a pin code to restart again. Now this next section is kind of interesting. It says visual surveillance, your garden guardian. When not on mowing duty, Lana will be the guardian of your garden. It can patrol at night and provide visual security surveillance monitored by visual transmission. There is also a video storage function that will save footage of unused activity. Lana is like a cyber truck in your garden. <laughs> there it is. Always guarding your security. So it doesn't really tell you a lot about this visual surveillance feature. So it says visual transmission. So what I'm guessing is you can tell it to go out and on the app, since it's on 4G or Wi-Fi, if you're off somewhere at work, maybe you can patrol your yard remotely and check out, you know, check out your yard in the app. That's what they're making it sound like. I don't know that's what it's going to actually do, but that's what they make it sound like here. So hopefully when this gets shipped, they can actually do something like that because that'll be cool. There is some robot vacuums that have a security feature 
and you can drive them around in your house with the cameras on the robot vacuum and check things out. So that would be kind of cool to have in your yard. Look at this sleek design. So we got more Cybertruck references here, or at least Cyberpunk and Blade Runner. It says Lana is very different from other robot lawnmowers. There is no streamlined body and it doesn't look like a race car. Oh, was that a hit at Luba? Because Luba kind of looks like a race car. Oh, I think that was a hit. Shots fired. Lana and Luba going at it. So it doesn't look like a race car, but it is more full of futuristic and science fiction sense. Uh, what does this even mean? Actually, Lana's design is inspired by the movie Blade Runner and the game Cyberpunk 2077. Lana looks like a robot from the movie screen with a silver top shell, angular lines that exude a sense of sharpness. The lower part of the body is black, which adds a sense of heft and strength to Lana. There's some more pictures of it. I guess those are the, the sensors in the front. That's probably the charging where it touches to charge. I, I don't know. But there's several places for sensors here. Okay, so here we are. Specs. Mower dimensions. 62 by 58 by 28. So, okay, Freedom units. 24 by 22 by 11 inches. And it's a single plate cut. It's able to put out 68 watts of power and weighs 33 pounds. Operates at 24 volts. And it can work for two and a half hours and it takes two hours to charge. So it says for its cutting coverage, it's able to cover one acre. So my parents have three acres. If you want to go back and watch some of my other uh, lawn review videos, uh, most of those were done at my parents' house. So you can see the size of that lawn. So it cuts 13.4 inches at a time and it's able to go 98 feet a minute. That doesn't really tell me. I guess that's fast. <laughs> so now we get to the rewards section. So Kickstarter being the way it is, the earliest people get the biggest discount because they have uh, more of the risk. So you can see here, the first people that sign up for it, they're paying $700. Now, like I said, I am not recommending this. I'm Before I recommend anything, I want to try it. This does look intriguing but I kind of worry about the AI vision. You know, what if it decides it wants to run away? You know, there's no boundary wires, no GPS fence. It just goes on AI vision, so it's just gonna run away. We'll see, <laughs> we'll see in the future how it, how it goes, you know. It may, uh, it may work, it may fail horribly. I just do not know yet. What's in the box, you get your Lawn a mower, you get your charging station, the spikes to hold your charging station down, the power cords, and some blades. And that is it. As for shipping, it says uh, that these are estimates. So, don't know if this is set in stone here, but here in the States, it says 50 bucks. You can look here and see if your country's on here, how much it looks like 60 and 70, pretty much 50, 60, or 70 and the timeline mass production at the end of the year so they think they're going to be in mass production at November this year and they're going to be shipping January before I leave you let's uh, go ahead and watch this video together free up time and save a peace of mind with Lana Lana allows you one less chore in your busy day-to-day -day schedule your wire-free perimeter robot mower is very simple to set up with just one click. Saving time and money, Lana will take care of your lawn while you relax. Easy wireless setup lets you draw a map of your lawn directly on the app just by going for a short walk with your new robot around the perimeter of your yard with almost twice the efficiency of the standard mower. Intelligent orderly mowing allows you to never miss a blade of grass by selecting a perfect setting for your lawn's health and aesthetic. The Lana lets you divide your yard into multiple sections to define and calculate the optimal mowing and growing plan for your diverse lawn. Instead of having to bend over to adjust the cutting height by hand, 
This Lawn Care Robot's unique electric cutting deck can be adjusted via the app. Again, saving time and your lower back. Lana has real-time enhanced safety features that will detect and avoid obstacles to prevent collisions. In addition, when pets, kids, or adults approach the machine, the Lana will immediately stop spinning to keep you and your family safe. When your mower senses its power is lower than 20%, it will automatically return to the charging base, recharge, and then instantly return to work. Lana does not stop until the job is finished. This lawn care robot can automatically adjust its mowing pad to prevent long time crushing and damage to the lawn. Live free and easy with Lana. Okay, so there it is. There's Lana. I don't know, guys. Um, I Like I told you, I bought Luba. And I, it, it looked pretty cool. They've been delayed several times. They were supposed to ship some units in July. That didn't happen. I don't even know if they've shipped any units yet. Now they're talking it's going to be next January, February before we're shipping. So, not exactly sure when I'm going to get my Luba, but let's go ahead and just since we're all here, let's watch Luba's little advertisement too and see if we can tell any of the differences. Relax. Forget about mowing the lawn. Introducing Luba. Now remember, this does it different because there's lawnmower. GPS with the Setup RTK. Is easy. Just walk with Luba to set hassle-free virtual boundaries. See, RTK there's a reference unit, so it triangulates. Accuracy. Mow the perfect lawn faster and more efficiently. Cut more grass at once using large dual cutting plates. Doesn't it just look cool? Four wheel drive, a little race car. Of course, the side wheel suspension arms improves ground gripping. In wheel motors allow for powerful torque. Luba can climb even the steepest slopes. For large properties, mow multiple lawns, automatically traversing between different mowing zones. Using four ultrasonic sensors, Luba can detect obstacles in its way and automatically pass around them. Luba is built to withstand the toughest weather conditions. Oh, it goes it goes home to in the rain too. Wet grass. Luba returns home until the rain stops and continues mowing where it left off. Okay, so you can spray Cleaning off this one as well. Your lawn is right at your fingertips. Choose where and when not to mow. And how you want your lawn cut. After a long day at work, Luba automatically returns home to recharge. So say goodbye to mowing. So evidently I'm going to be uh, to enjoy able life. to do some yoga and cook some great food on the grill if I get this Luba. Alright guys, so thanks for watching this uh, little video over the Lana Smart Cyber Mower. I just thought it was funny because, of course, cyber mower and, you know, cyber truck. And a lot of my followers are Tesla people, and I'm into robot lawnmowers anyway. So I just thought to share this with everybody. I hope uh, this comes out and it works great because uh, I might buy it just to put it on the channel. But remember, I am not recommending this until I try it out and I like it. I would never uh, want anybody to get burned by something I did. And the same goes with the Luba. I bought it. I'm not really going to advertise it until I try it out and I like it. And I actually get it. Who knows if I'll get either one of these things. You know, Kickstarter has a, a way of uh, screwing you. I've backed another project. It was a dash cam. That was supposed to be delivered like a year ago. And they're still making excuses why they can't deliver it. All right, guys, so thanks for uh, watching about the Lana Smart Cyber Mower with me. Uh, we'll see if I end up getting this and if it actually is worth getting. But it's <laughs> going to be a few months, January, February, March. Who knows when this is going to happen. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.